Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video we will learn how to convert a vector to a matrix in our programming language. Okay, so now we know that vector and matrix are both data types and to convert a vector to a matrix we will utilize the matrix built-in function provided by the R programming language okay so here we have defined a vector named VEC and this vector contains six elements now to convert this into a matrix we will pass this vector to the matrix function and we will also specify the number of rows that we want in the resultant matrix okay so once we have specified the number of rows the number of items or the number of values are already fixed so the R compiler will automatically figure out how many columns would be present in this matrix so with two rows and six total number of entries we will get three columns so let's execute each of these statements one by one and see how what is the result so now what we are doing is uh, let me execute the first three statements so as you can see here a vector has been created then we have executed the second statement which creates a matrix and then we are printing the matrix so by default the elements in this matrix are filled column wise that means the first element of the vector becomes the first element of the matrix then the second element of the vector becomes the first element of the second row okay so first the entire first column is filled then the entire second column is filled by values and then at the end the last column would be filled by the last two values now suppose you want to change the order in which the matrix is storing these values you want first the first three elements of the vector should be present in the first row that means you want to fill the values by row so in that case you can set the by row argument as true and then your matrix will be created in a different way so when i execute this statement you can see the difference here the first row is filled with values then the second row is filled with the remaining values as compared to the previous case okay so this is all for today's video i hope you have understood how to convert a vector to a matrix thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam